Thank you, Mike, for that weather update. Lots of rain, am I right, Frank? That's right. <laughs> rainy, rain, right. rainy Washington. All right, now it's time for our favorite part of the week, Whip, Whip of, of the week. week. During Whip of the Week, we like to uh, tell you a little bit about our favorite car in the parking lot. You have a chance to be featured on MVHS TV and just have to answer a few questions about your car. Isn't that right, Frank? It, this is my favorite part of this news segment. All right, so best. this week we're picking a 1999 uh, Chevy Suburban. Uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about that. It is a great American car. It's about 19 years yep, old. Traditional family it, values. No, it, you can't go wrong with American muscle. You cannot go wrong with it. It is 19 years old, has over 200,000 miles, but it's still kicking and... Old reliable, am I right? Old reliable. Raring to rough on our Route 66. All right, now to Brendan Rusin with the Carfax. One. Thank you, Matthew, for that introduction. Now I'm here with Brendan Rusin. This is his 1999 Chevy Suburban. How you doing, man? Pretty good, how about you? I'm pretty good myself. So, do you like your 1999 Chevy Suburban? Yeah, I do. You do? It's a safe car, you know, it goes fast. You know, if I hit someone, I probably won't get injured. <laughs> you hear that? It's a safe car. You can hit people and not get injured. So, when did you get this car, Risen? Um, my parents bought it in 2003, and they gave it to me when I was 16. Sweet. Okay. What's what's like your favorite memory driving this car? I think my favorite memory is when I was just driving off-road in this dirt field, and I was just like just going all over the place. It was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Pretty fun to hear that? Okay. Thank you, Matthew, and back to you. We're here live with Brendan Rusin's 1999 Suburban for our number one pick for Whip of the Week. I have the keys, so why don't we take a look inside? Uh, first thing I noticed when I got in was the fine leather seating, handcrafted of course, top of the line. Uh, right now it looks like it's seating about five, but I'm sure it fits about three more in the back. Uh, looking at the dashboard, first thing I noticed, this puppy's got 264,000 miles, quite a bit, but with this guy, I'm sure it'll take you a couple hundred more. Alright, back to you.